Hey guys, welcome back to another Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers home tour. Today we're in District 19 and more specifically in the Sengkang region. We're right here at this HGB cluster called the Corris. We have a four room unit size at 990 square feet to show you today. If you're in the market for a unit that is close to your amenities and you don't want to compromise too much on convenience as well as connectivity, then I think this home might be suitable for you because right towards the back, 350 meters in that direction is where Buangkok MRT station is at. That is also where you can find the upcoming Sengkang Grand Mall which is slated for completion end of this year. We'll chat a little bit more about that later on. So if you're ready, let's go. So welcome to the unit. As always, do remember to stay to the end of our home tour as we share with you some BB Reno ideas. Now before I show you around the rest of the place, why not let's chat a little bit about the BB facts. We're situated at block 264C within this HDB cluster called the Corris and this was completed in 2008 and that means in terms of lease balance wise there is still 84 years and 3 months remaining at the time of filming. There are a total of 690 units within this cluster. They are all of the 4 room flat types. Now if we pull out the side map of this project you'll notice that every single block here is done in a point block fashion and we love that because that also means that on every floor there are only 4 units and that gives residents here an added layer of privacy. Before we kickstart the home tour proper, let's chat a little bit about the floor plan analysis. Pulling out the floor plan, this is a 4 room flat unit size at 990 square feet. If you start from the entrance for you, you will notice that immediately you're stepping into your living as well as your dining zone so you don't have any kind of wasted space in terms of a corridor. Right next to your living and your dining space on the original floor plan, you will notice that that is where your first common bedroom is. Right now, the owners are using this as their dining room so they have taken down the walls as well as the door to make it into an open dining area. Right next to that, you can find your master bedroom and down towards the hallway, you also find your home shelter, the other common bedroom as well as the common bath area. Right opposite the original first common bedrooms is where you can find your enclosed kitchen of course you may have the option to open it up and do like an open kitchen concept and towards the back of your kitchen you will find your yard which is great for you to do your laundry now enough about the floor plan why not let's kickstart the home tour proper from the foyer space now as you enter the main door you will immediately be greeted with your living as well as your dining area tucked away in this corner they have floor to ceiling shoe cabinet for you to put in your shoes now as we flow over to your living room they have done up this very beautiful feature wall with a bit of cove lighting towards the back as well so some ambient lighting to make the home a little bit more cozy. They also decided to put their TV on this wall feature right here. Because they've decided to do up like an open dining area, you thereby get a very large living area. They put in a three-seater as well as two-seater combi. You have space to fit in another large coffee table right here. You will notice that flooring-wise, these are all homogeneous large size tiles. So this would run through from your living all the way through your common walkway towards your bedrooms as well. This living room space is so large now, they even have space to do up like a home office area in this corner right here. Flanking your entire living rooms, you will find that that you get floor to ceiling windows and we love that because it allows a lot of sunlight to bleed through the space. Now in terms of directional facing, we're looking out towards the north direction. That also means you don't get any sort of morning as well as afternoon sun coming into the unit. If we look out towards the window, you also notice that we're overlooking the very beautiful greenery over here. That gives very nice shade to the home as well as also acts as like a privacy screen towards the next block. Coming over to the dining room. So earlier on, we mentioned the owners actually did a little bit of alteration. They've decided to take down the walls of the first common bedroom and you Use this as like an open dining area because they do entertain friends and family quite a bit. If you want to fit up to like an 8 or 10 seater dining room space here, I think that's suitable. Right now you have like an 8 seater combi, you do get very nice drop down lights over here. If you want to reinstate this area back into the bedroom, that is definitely doable. If you look down here, the owners have actually done a platform that steps up to the dining area, adds a lot of depth to the space. But otherwise, this is actually the original demarcation of where the doors as well as the walls would be for this bedroom. In this bedroom, you do get quite a sizable space. I think you can probably fit up to a super single or even a queen bed if you want to. And you still have some allowance to do a bit of wardrobe area as well as side tables. If you come over for a physical viewing, we're more than happy to show you the quotation to put back the walls as well as the doors. Now let's chat a little bit about where we're at in our BB location analysis. Now, if we were to pull out the street map, you will notice that Sengkang can be split into three different sub-regions. Of course, you have Riverville towards the east side, Compassvale, which is known as the central region of Sengkang, and then you have Anchorvale towards the west. So we're situated within the Compassvale region, but more towards the south of Compassvale. And this area is already a very self-sustaining town because you have the Wangkok MRT located just 350 meters away from this block. And of course, that is where the northeast line is at, which is extremely convenient because just three stops down will take you to Serangoon, where you can have the circle line, and eight to nine stops down will 
will take you to Little India as well as Dhobi Ghat where you have the downtown line as well as the north-south line. Speaking of the Bangkok MRT station, that is also where the upcoming mega Sengkang Grand Integrated Project will be. And besides the residential development, there will also be the Sengkang Grand Retail Mall, a hawker centre, community club, you even have childcare facilities as well as a bus interchange there. So you have plenty of amenities just within a 5 minutes walk away. Now if you like to travel to the Sengkang Central, you may also take the LRT from the Rangung Station which is just 200 metres away from us. Now our cluster here also has an adjoining block of commercial as well as retail facility. That is where the Sengkang Town Council is situated and right there you can also find your giant supermarket as well as food court which is integrated very nicely with your multi-storey car park. For schools, the most natural choice will be North Vista Primary School which is just behind the block right opposite us. Uh, otherwise, we are also within a kilometres radius to Palm View Primary School, Pongo Primary as well as CHIJ Our Lady of Nativity. For those who are driving, the KPE as well as the TPE are just under a 10 minutes drive away. Now let's continue with our home tour and check out the kitchen space. Now originally, these came with a bit of a wall here as well and the kitchen entrance was just about a door frame wide. What the owners have done is they decided to expand this space so they decided to take down the walls on the side thereby doing these bifold doors which still allows them to enclose this space when they're doing their heavy cooking. But otherwise, coming into this space, you do get a very wide kitchen layout. Right here, they decided to put in their fridge and over here on this side, you have plenty of countertop space for you to do your food prep. So here is where you can find your cooker, hood and hob. Right in this side, you have your sink as well. All above and below, you do have top hung cabinets as well as cabinetries right below for you to put in your pots and pans. In this corner, you have very nice large windows, which is what we always love. So you get to ventilate the space a little bit more. And tucked away in this corner is your yard. So this can also be closed off with these bifold doors as well. Otherwise, you can leave it open. This is where you can do your laundry. So you have space to stack up your washer and your dryer over in this area. If we look above, you do get a little bit of space in the ceiling as well. So I think nowadays, the uh, very popular, those automated clothes drying system, if you want to install that, you can definitely do so. Now here in this area, you can choose to hang some clothes outside as well for natural clothes drying. Otherwise, we can put up some windows to enclose the space. Now if you're looking for a four room flat within this area, let's take a look at some of the numbers. Now, if you're looking for a home within walking distance to the Buangkok MRT station, technically, there are only six clusters of HDB for you to look at. You have the Ancilla and projects here have a remaining lease balance of 90 years. Right there, for a low floor unit, they're asking $638,000. Right next to that, you also have another small cluster called the Tivella, have a lease balance of 86 years remaining. The high floor units there are already asking $700,000. Now, moving over to the Atrina, lease balance of 85 years remaining, about the same age as us. The low floor units over there are asking $650,000. $50,000. Mid floor units are asking about $700 to $730,000. And some of the high floor units are also asking $720,000 to $760,000. Now moving over to Espella, the units there also have a remaining lease of 85 years. Right now at the Espella cluster, there is only one unit available or situated on the lower floor asking $620,000. Now closest to us, you have the Arcadia cluster. Units there would have 81 years remaining lease and the mid floor units there are asking between $600,000 to $700,000. So coming back to our unit here at the Corys, we are asking $660,000 negotiable. So heading down this direction, you will first hit your home shelter. Now this is great for you to of course store in some of your bulkier items. And this is your common bedroom. In all the bedrooms, you do get parquet flooring. What I love about this bedroom is that you do get dual windows, which is quite rare. So you do get one set of windows over here that is looking towards the internal facing, same as your living room. So this is north facing as well, no morning or afternoon sun. And the second set of windows looking out towards the back of the block. Quite a lot of privacy. If you were to open both windows up, I think you do get very nice cross ventilation. We have fitted in a single bed. If you want to go up to a queen size bed, that is definitely doable. You still have some space to do up a study area here. Now along this flank of the wall, I think this is a great space for you to do up a TV console area. Otherwise, you will notice that this bedroom does not come with any fixtures. Very flexible for you to shift around some of the furnitures or even do up some of your new fixtures. So conveniently, located off your common bedroom is where you can find your common bathroom. This of course has a floating vanity design, your space for a mirror up above the sink as well. You do get a dedicated standing shower area tucked away in the corner. Before we check out the master bedroom, let us break down some of the financials for you. Now, if you were to purchase this unit at $660,000, assuming no cash over valuation, take a full 80% HDB loan at $528,000 with an interest rate of 2.6% that is spread across 25 years, that will mean that your monthly installment will come up to $2,395. Now, assuming both you and your spouse are aged below 35 and you have a combined income of $9,000, your total combined OA contribution every month based on 23% 
will come up to $2,070 and that would also mean that you just have to top up $325 collectively in terms of cash to service your monthly mortgage. If you're a first timer purchasing a resale flat, there are three grants which you are eligible for. The first will be the family grant which will come up to $80,000 for a four room flat based on the latest measures by HDB. The second grant would be the enhanced housing grant which has an income cap of $9,000 and the amount which you'll be eligible for will then be dependent on your combined income. The last grant will then be your proximity housing grant. So if your parents live within a 4 km radius from this block, you'll be able to receive a grant of $20,000. So stepping into the master bedroom, again you'll notice the flooring, they're all done up in parquet wood. The condition has been very well maintained over the years. We think if just one layer of polishing will do the trick. Here in this master bedroom, you do get quite a generous size. For the bed area, they've done up a little bit of a fixture. This is a queen bed setup. You do get side tables that are also adjoined to the bed frame as well. Here along this wall, you can see they've very nicely done up this. Very cozy wall feature, I would say, that softens up the space. Tucked in this corner is you have full height floor to ceiling cabinets and you do get four panels over here. I think if you want to stretch out, maybe do up like additional panels here in this direction, that can be done as well. Coming over on this side, this is where your master bath is. You do get a wall to wall vanity top. You get a large mirror as well. And towards the back in that corner is your dedicated standing shower area. Quite similar to your common bathroom. So lastly, this master bedroom comes with an internal facing as well. Same as your living as well as the other common bedroom which is now your dining space. So if you want something that's more quieter in nature, I think this will be suitable for you. So we come to the end of this home tour but before we go, let's just share some of our BB Reno ideas. So our first BB Reno idea is to reinstate this space to become your first common bedroom so you can put back the walls as well as a door and a door frame. This can essentially be your first common bedroom. Second random idea is to make use of this space over here together with this wall do up like a peninsula countertop. Thereby you do get like a dry kitchen concept before you enter the wet kitchen area. Third baby random idea is to do a little bit of configuration in this space. If you bring down this wall, you can turn this into a dining room area. Fourth BB Reno idea is flush your kitchen slightly inwards to put up some glass doors over here. And if you do that, you can still have the option of enclosing your kitchen space. Now our last BB Reno idea would be in the bedrooms. What we think is that maybe you would like to reorientate your bed frame to be along this flank of the wall. And if you do that, you do get quite a large space to do up your full height cabinets. So once again, to recap, this is a four room flat size at 990 square feet. We're right here in this cluster called the Corris, which is just five minutes away to the Buangkok MRT station. And right there is very exciting because you have a lot of developments coming up, especially the Sengkang Grand Mall, which is going to be completed end of this year. If you'd like to see this home in person, do contact our listing managers. Our details are right here. As always, do give this video a like, subscribe to our channel as well, and follow us on all our socials. We are on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, as well as TikTok. My name is Jun Wei, Blue Bricks by Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Again, office desk that can go up and down, you know, uh, like the one that we have in our office. Uh, shout out to Omni Desk. Floor to ceiling kind of windows, and the ones below are for call. Uh, la, 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 la.